guys and dolls, Divine DBK here, and I am going to share with you my 50% off haul that I had with Ulta, and I used Ulta points in order to pay for the things that I purchased. Um, I will start off with, I think one of the, be the best buys that I, hi Kim. I'm going to start off with what I think is one of the, the better buys. Well, I think my, my um, fragrances are even better buys, but this was only like three bucks. It's 10 times mag magnification. I need that much magnification because I'm, I will, I don't want to um, admit that I'm blind, but this does help. So this was only three bucks. And um, for my, I'm going to do body. This was like really, this was half off. I love this oil. I absolutely love this oil. So I got that. And then some of these I know the price on, some of them I don't. But I, all, all in all, I spent 54 bucks. I got three of these number seven micellar waters. Unreal, that's a steal, I know, it's crazy. Um, these were 250 each and then and then you got half off. So, so they were $2.50 each. And micellar water is great when you're trying to, um, I don't like to put water on my face at night. So when I'm taking off my makeup, I just use micellar water. Um, I got, this was $20 for um, SPF 50. And it, I got half price off of that. So, I mean, SPF 50 and Shiseido, that, that's kind of pricey. Just heard about water recently. Yes, I like it. I um, usually put a balm on. I have to wear makeup when I go to work every day. And so I usually put um, a balm on my face at night. And then I take a wipe, you know, makeup wipes, which I did get two makeup wipes. I take makeup wipes, wipe my face off. Hi, Camel. You've never shopped at Ulta before? Oh man, <laughs> you should go, you should go, you should go. Um, I wipe I wipe my face off with the with the facial wipes and then I take a cotton, a cotton swab and I use the micellar water to make sure I get off all my makeup. And when the micellar, when the pad comes back clean, I know I, I can, um, I've washed my face because I don't like to put water on my face at night. I wash my face with water in the morning. Oh, you, Ulta, yeah, if there's an Ulta near you, this is the time to go because they're having a 50% off uh, their clearance items and then 50% um, off of different, uh, some fragrances. So this is Cosrex Propolis ampules. It's kind of like that Korean beauty. No, no, that's not a spray. It's, it's not, I mean, you, you would put it on your, you, you pump it on your, your, your wipe is what you do. This is not a, this is not a spray. It's just water. I usually put it in, I usually put it in, um, Kim, I usually put it in the things that you use for nail polish remover. I'll put them in those little those little containers and then you know I use a cotton swab on top of that. So this is um, protects the skin from the external environment. So this is a um, some sort of serum. I've never seen it before, but it was half off, so I decided I was going to try it. I know that uh, Cross RX I think is is. Um, they, a lot of times they'll say it's comparable to what's that expensive PS90. It's a it's a thing that people use on their face to, to get rid of wrinkles and the like. So and it's pricey. PS90 is this stuff is usually thirty. Well, this one was twenty six, and PS90 is probably sixty or some odd dollars. So I, I got that. Then what else did I get? I got 
I wanted to try this Masani styling. It's a, it's a foam wrap for my natural hair. I wanted to try a, a wash and go with this. Yeah, I mean, this, I mean, this is a good sale, and the sale is on till August fourth, I believe. Now, I'm sure. I mean, I know it's online to um, to August fourth, and in store, you'll probably. I mean, I'm sure if there's a store near you, you could probably go in, and they have stuff in there that I know it's probably not online. So the things that I show you are probably you're probably not going to see them online because these are like overstock or things that 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 they can't send back, but is no longer part of their normal um, what is it display. So they can't send it back to the to the warehouse. So they're getting rid of they're getting rid of them so that they have the space. And I know that they're bringing on Juvia's place. I know that a lot more stores are getting Morphe. If your store, the store that you are in doesn't have Morphe, a lot more stores are getting Morphe. Um, we're supposed to be getting Chanel. They're supposed to be getting Chanel. Um, so they have lots of stuff. So my, 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 what I really, really was excited about was um, I got some really good fragrance. And, and, and mind you, everything I show you, it came to a total of $54 because I use my points. And because all these things were half price. So um, I got Alien Extraordinaire. And I'm going to open these with you. I won't review them, but I will open them. And I'm going to do a separate review. Because the other thing is that you can't return them. Nothing can be returned. So it's, you, you buy it, it's yours. But I'm okay with that because these were wrapped up. So I know that nobody else sprayed them. So this is, this is um, Alien Extraordinaire. Well, that's, that's most really nice. So, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. I love fragrance. That's, that's my, my most recent thing is fragrance. This is the Mug the Mugler. This is Terry Mugler, um, Alien, and this is one of the flankers. So this is not the original Alien. Oh, I can I can register my bottle. Who would have thought? I'm going to register my bottle when I get off of here. I can register my bottle. I guess they're going to tell me when things are going on. So that's this one. And then I got Estee Lauder Sensuous. It's like Christmas. Oh, and this one was uh, 69. That other one was 70. is sensuous and that other one was a perfume odor no the other one was an odor toilet this one is a perfume yeah this is a perfume I'm gonna spray it in the cap because it's probably gonna otherwise the whole room will be smelled up Oh, that's good. That's good. Woo, that's good. I like this. And I did I, I did watch some some review videos because I knew these were coming out. And I asked my person to save these for me. No, this is not the nude version. This is not the nude version. I have not smelled the nude version. Is it, um, do you know what the notes of the nude version are? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I'm so happy I got this. 
Yeah, they um, it's probably the nude is probably one of the flankers of of, and I think I think um, sensuous is 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 a is an anchor. I think so. If there's a nude version, although this cap doesn't go on very well, if there's a nude version, I'm sure the nude version will be the flanker of this. But yes, that smells good. Looks like a very similar, you like the noir. Okay, okay. I have not smelt the noir, but I'm sure that, that would, that's probably really, really good. Then I've heard um, on one of my videos, some on one of my perfume videos, somebody mentioned that I should try Gucci Guilty. And so I did smell Gucci Guilty, but so there are a, a lot of perfume. There were, yeah. And and the I went to two altars. I went to two altars, and there were a lot of. Well, actually, I went to three. One didn't have any. Really, didn't have any perfume at all. And but two of them had. One had a lot of perfume and like a whole, a whole. Uh, I don't know what they call those things. A whole thing of perfume. The other one had half, I guess, perfume, half makeup because they had Anastasia Beverly Hills. They had um, NARS, they had, I'm trying to remember. Um, I can't remember all of them because I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't pick up any, I really didn't pick up any makeup because Lord knows I have more than enough makeup. I actually have more than enough perfume, but that doesn't, that's not stopping me. Um, so I got the Gucci, somebody had asked, said, well, why don't you try, uh, Gucci guilty and, or and I'm like, okay. Cause I like some of the other fragrances. They said that I might like it, but I smelt it and I didn't like it. So, but I did, I've heard a lot about Gucci flora. So this is what you would consider a blind buy because I've never smelt it, but this is Gucci Flora. I got to go to these. Wash. Uh -huh, I'm going to wash my hair after this, too. And I'm styling my hair. Love. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I will. I will. Did you sub to mine? Sub to mine? Like mine? Like mine before you go. <laughs> sub, sub to mine and, and, and like mine before you go, Camel. Hey, hey, Lou. <laughs> Hey Lou, I am doing my 50% off Ulta haul because I told you guys that it was 50% off. I did well. I, I put it in the I put it in the um, the beauty YouTuber group. I don't know where else to where else do I say it? Um, I got. Uh, these are all the things I've got. I got this for like three bucks. This is, you know, and it's 10 times magnification. So I like that. I got a body oil. I love Neutrogena body oil. I got a Mazzani wrap for my hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a Mazzani wrap for my hair. I got makeup wipes. I got um, some drops for my face, skincare. I got three micellar waters. They were like two fifty each, and you got half half off of that. Hey, Mark, you, got, you get half off of that. Then I got um, Shiseido. Uh, 50 plus sunscreen because I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay, this face is going to stay looking young. Um, I got, and all of this for $54. I got, now you know, Lou, I love, you know, I love fragrance. So that's where I was when you, when you, when you came in. I got Alien. This is, this is Alien O Extraordinaire. So this is one of the flankers of Alien. Um, oh, I, I got lots. I'm still, I'm still going. I, I haven't stopped yet. 
So I got Alien. I I got Estee Lauder Sensuous. Um, the Alien, I think that was $70, I think, and it was half off of that. I think it was $70, half off of that. I already threw away the plastic. Um, I got Estee Lauder Sensuous. And that was, I think, 30, 60, something like that. I can't remember. And then I was up to Gucci Flora. Um, the Alien was an older toilette. The Estee Lauder is a perf perfume. And this is Eau de Parfume. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> Oh, yes, all half off. I'm telling you, when I said it in the group, half off, half off. And then, like, everything that I bought was half off. And it was clearance and then half off. So some of them might have been, the, the ticketed price was 70 but it might have been marked down further and then half off or whatever it was. Oh, that's good. That's really good. They did have, they, this is a parfum. I think I might go back and get the Eau de Toilette because I left the Eau de Toilette. I think I might go back and get it tomorrow if it's still there. <laughs> oh, it's gone already online? Oh, where did the check go? Okay, there it goes. It's gone already online. You see, I knew it was online. I mean, I don't know why people didn't see it online this morning. This morning, I um, I said that I, it was online. I saw it, but but in store, you might find the mirror, mirror in store because, like I said, in store they have these towers with all the stuff on it, and these is this is stuff. My person said this is stuff that that's no longer going to be in their you know in the store, and they're trying to get rid of it. Well, okay, then it might be just in um, uh, Lou. It might be just in the stores themselves that you're gonna that you're going to find the perfumes because basically, like I, the person told me, it's like they're trying to get rid of these, and so they're they you know they can't send them back to the the vendor, so they're going to sell them. Right, right, right. Yes, Kim, they're making room for Gucci Bloom and other things like that. Oh. Is that the one with the? I think that's the one with the little cap on it, right? The Tilly is the is the uh, Hermes Tilly is the one with the cap, the little black cap on it, and I think it has like a black. Uh, so in stores, yes. I mean, if you're not seeing it online, then you have to go into the individual stores. Because I went to three stores today. One, I mean, they're close, really, but they're really not far from me. One store didn't have any, really didn't have any perfumes, but the other two did. One had a whole tower full of perfume, I mean, chock full of perfume, uh, ladies perfume, men's perfume, just chock full of perfume. The other store had, I would say about a half or three quarters of one. And then they had like um, NARS and other, other stuff in, in, in there, in the store. So that's, oh, that's really good. Oh man, I should have bought the, I should have bought the, um, the, the eau de toilet. So then, since I liked the Gucci Bloom, which is the which is the original, I got the Gucci um, Flora, which is the Gracious Tuberose. So this is a this is a flanker. This is called a flanker of the original. So this is the original, and this is the flanker of the original. So this is tuberose. So what this has is this with tuberose probably swapped in. And I think it has um, fragipani. But I'm going to do individual videos on each of these fragrances. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be good. I did, they, I did cheat a little bit because this store where I got this one, they had um, a tester. So I know this smells good. I put it on, actually, I put it on my hand. 
So it smells really, it smells really good. So they have, this has like, I think it has like four, I want to say it has four, three or four different flankers. Um, one is um, Magnolia, Gardenia, and I don't like gardenias. Yes, I'm, well, stay tuned. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I'm going to be doing um, individual on all of the fragrances that I have. I'm going to do an individual one on each. Flankers, yes. So there, um, I don't like gardenia. So I know there's one that's gardenia and I can't remember what the other two are, but I'm very, very happy that I, that I got those. Then I got Givenchy uh, Dahlia Divin Le Nectar Eau de Parfum. I have I have a couple of um, I have a couple of perfume um, reviews out there. I think I have a playlist with a couple. So I'm, I'm, I'm really just going to start doing more of them. I'm, I have a video coming up. Hasn't, I'm having, I'm working on editing it right now. Um, that, that I'm going to, every week I'm going to pick three fragrances because as you can see, I have a lot of fragrances. I'm going to pick three fragrances and I'm going to wear that for the week. So this one, Oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this. And this is a perfume. Wow. Oh, that's good too. And this is, I mean, and I blind bought these. These are blind buys. So I have no idea what they smell like. Yes. Oh, I like this. This is um, an even. It's a beautiful feminine evening scent. So when you're going out, it's kind of sexy. I like it. Oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> very interesting notes. They all have very interesting notes. Oh, I love, I like this. I like them all. And then one of the people I, um, one of the people I work with, she knows I like fragrance. So she was so sweet. She bought this um, flower bomb, Victor Roth flower bomb, um, and she didn't like it. So she gave it to me and she knows I love flower bomb. Like what? Kim, like what? Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, trying to think of what I smell in there. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to teach my nose. The notes from the previous perfume. This one here. I'm trying to teach my nose what things are. Um. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's sandalwood. I'm smelling it's something deep and woody. It tastes, it smells deep, woody, but initially a little fruity. Initially a little fruity. So the, um, the opening or the first, when you first spray it, the opening it's like a little, a little, um, I'm trying to figure, find the words. Cause now the, the, the heart and the, the dry down are, is like a musk, uh, a, a sensuous musk. Kind of heady. I like it. Um, flower bomb, I like flower bomb. It's a great scent. A lot of a lot of people wear it. It's, it's an excellent scent. And last but not least, Ange 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 de uh, Damon. 
So angel and de or de or devil by Givenchy. It's a it's a eau de parfum. And this one I, I believe has been around for a long time. But you don't find it. You can't find it other you just can't find this a lot of places. And this is the secret. So this is the secret. Yeah, blind buy. <laughs> I've never smelt it. I've watched people's videos about it. And um, and most of the videos, I mean, for, for these, it's really hard to see something in English, number one, and that has people have not really reviewed this for a long time. So it's been out for a long time. But, um, whoa, <laughs> that's a pretty fine. Ooh, this is interesting. It has like a, a light ethereal smell. Very pretty bottle, very pretty bottle. It has like a light ethereal smell, but it also has something like, I guess I see the de the demon. I can see the demon side because it's like it kind of like gets you like <laughs> it's like a light, but it's also wham in your face. <laughs> yeah, it is. So you get both sides of it. I have to look at the notes because I'm. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I can't wait to wear this stuff. Fragrance just take kind of takes me places. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It has like kind of like a like a reptilian let me get there so you can see it. It's like a reptilian spine to it. I like, I like that. So that is all, that is all that I got. But for me, I am just the, the highlight. The highlight is are my um, are my perfumes because to get all of that for fifty four dollars, that is that is like a year's worth of perfumes in you know a small amount of time, a small amount of time. I'm, I'm just in, in, in fragrance heaven. I'm in fragrance heaven. So is anybody gonna go out and, and purchase? <laughs> is anybody gonna go out and purchase? This is the time. I mean, I'm not saying that everything is gonna be there, but each, I think each store, Oh, you did Gucci bamboo. Was that was that discounted? Was Gucci bamboo discounted? Did you get fifty percent off, or was it straight price? Because Gucci bamboo was one of the one of the ones that somebody said I should try. Yeah, Gucci bamboo was one of the ones they said that I should try along with because they have Gucci. Flora Garden, I think, was, was, you think, regular pro? still good, still good. Get the roll those points, hoard those points. Because uh, I think there was a five times, I think today was five times the points. Did you, did you activate that? Did you activate the five times the points?
Because if you didn't, you can always call um, guest services. Because when I went into the first store, I didn't know it was five times the points. And so I just made my purchase. And then the person, my, my friend said, hey, today is five times the points. Yes, I did. I did. Um, my, my friend said, well, today's five times the points. Did you activate it? And I hadn't activated it. So um, I had to call guest services and they, they, they gave me the points. Oh, no, no, go. No, 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 no. Activate your points. Activate your points. Get free stuff. That's the best. Alta is like the best rewards program. It's the absolute best rewards program. You don't let that don't let that go. It's not a card. You don't have to card. It's not on the card. It's just you just um, you give them your email, and I think your telephone number. I think they want your telephone number and your email, and they send you twenty percent off coupons like once every quarter. Yeah, it's it's a rewards card. So it's I mean it's not a card card. I mean, because you could do it. I mean, I'm sure if you if you if you went online. I mean, I did mine in store, but I'm sure if you went online today and when. Oh, good. I if you just signed up, I would go. I would um, I would call them and tell them, hey, I signed up today and I made a purchase today. And that way you'll get your points. Oh. Oh. So was Platinum the only people that got the five times the points, Lou? And I'm ashamed to say I'm a diamond. <laughs> I'm hanging my head in shame. I'm a diamond. I don't know how I did that. Oh, for oh, it was platinum and diamond. I don't know how I did that. I really don't. But at least we're in July. I have friends who were diamonds in March. So, so <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be a diamond. I'm not gonna be a diamond. Y'all are crazy. I'm not spending that much money. Oh, two hundred dollars. I'm like, I'm not spending that much money. No, no, not gonna happen. Y'all are just, you know, you got your priorities messed up. Oh, okay. Yep. 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 No, I... You know, and sometimes if you go directly to the, um, to the retailer, you get a better discount. I, you know, I, that, uh, that is definitely understood, but you know, Too Faced is buy one, get one free. So if you like the Too Faced lipsticks or, or, um, any of their lip products, I think it's, it has to be $19, 19 to $21. So they're, so they're, um, their um, their metallic lip, lip things, everything is almost all sold out. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. At the Too Faced, yep. The first one I went to was the first Ulta I went to. They were sold out on the colors I wanted. I wanted Naughty by Nature and Lady Balls. I didn't buy it at the second store, but they did have them. So those are the two the two that I like, the liquid mattes. But I said, you know what? I'm still fighting over the fact that I have 65 lipsticks. Oh, it's small. Yeah, I love Lady Balls. As uh, for red, I act. I love Lady Balls, and I love Naughty by Nature for um, a deep brown, because I'm that weird color where I am on too dark for most most mediums and too light for the darks. So sometimes hard for me to find colors, complexion, or lipsticks. <laughs> Lip liner. Oh, so six. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, oh. I, I, 
if I told my family that I have, I mean, my family doesn't doesn't watch my videos, but if they knew I had six, they would have somebody come with the net and cart me away because they couldn't understand having 65 lipsticks and lip, and when you only have two lips. Yes, but I, 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 and I, I do do that because I mean, like I have like naturally, uh, Max naturally transform. There's like no way I could wear that directly on my lips. I do wear, um, I have chestnut, Mac chestnut. I have Mac cork. I have um, cocoa, cocoa bear, I think Milani. So I have a lot of dark lip liners and then I use lighter. I mean, when I have lighter colors. Plug my, there we go. Um, lighter, I, um, when I have lighter colors. So, but I like, I like to be able to use colors where I don't have to use a lip liner. Because then when I eat or whatever, you know, the, the, the color goes away and the liner stays. It reminds me of the 80s, 90s, when you used to wear the black, I never did, but I had friends who wore the black lip liner and the lipstick on top. But yeah, I, I don't like to have to do that. I mean, I do because I'm in that weird cusp where you have all the light, all the light and beige and tan. And then there's like this space and then dark. Hmm, a dark peach. Hmm. I do wear like I I will wear like oranges, mirage. I wear oranges. I don't know, I don't know about dark peach. You have to be pretty. Well, well eh. uh, maybe I should try it. I could try it. But that I mean that. Besides um, fragrance, I'm trying to with a coral. Mm, I don't know about a coral lip liner. The other thing I, I wanted to find is people that have the same complexion that I do in terms of foundation, because I, I tried so many foundations and they're just a titch off, just a titch. So I need to find a foundation that kind of, that I can wear. I've, I, and when I go through my, when I go back on some of my old videos, there were some NARS and some other ones that I, I had. And when I try them now, they're just not, they're just a titch off. And it could be because I've upped my sunscreen. I, I don't mess around with sunscreen. Cause I think that one of the things that ages us the most in terms of our face is not using sunscreen. And it doesn't make a difference if you're black or white. It doesn't make a difference if you're black or white. I wear 50 every day. I wear 50 every day. And I think that, you know, that these wrinkles that I have right here, because I have a seven finger forehead, these wrinkles that I have right here have stayed like this for years. They haven't gotten any worse. And part of it is because I protect myself against the sun. <laughs> Some of it's genes. Some of it's genetics. I, I will say that my mom looked, my mom, when she was in her 70s, she looked young. So I'm hoping that, that, the, that the genes keep me looking young, but um, definitely the sun will, will damage your face. Yes, very important. But definitely the sun will damage your face. And, and, I, and I do have some, I do have some, uh, sunspots, melasma that comes up from time to time. So I, I'm, I'm like, I'm always on it when it comes to making sure that I have my sunscreen on and usually 50. I mean, when we were kids, we, I mean, I ran around in the sun. I, I never really, I mean, I, I would hate to see some of my, my girlfriends from college because we used to go to the beach. I lived in New York City. And so we used to go to the beach because you could get on a train and go to the beach. And they would just slather themselves up in baby oil and just lay out in the beach. 
I couldn't do it because my skin just got itchy when it got when it get when I was in the sun too long, my skin gets itchy. They would just lay out for hours. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I, I, I they would just and I'm like, how do you do it? I'd have a hat. I mean, I'd be sitting next to them, but I'd have a hat, my jeans on, I'd have you'd have my arms covered because it was just it would just itch. My skin would just itch. So I don't, I'm not a, you know, I like getting a little bit of sun, but I can't take, you know, just hours and hours of baking. And, you know, that a lot of the skin cancer and things that people are dealing with today, due to the fact that back when we were young, we didn't do what we needed to do. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I mean, I, I, I was, how I was in my mid fifties when the first time I ever felt what a sunburn felt like. My girlfriend had a tanning. She had some tanning. She was going tanning and, and I was like, Oh, okay. You know, I'll go with you. Cause we were going to go to dinner afterwards. And so I was sitting there and I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll just go in and tan too. She's tanning. I'm going to tan too. So I asked the girl, okay, okay. I'm going to tan. I'll buy a session. And <laughs> She put me in 22 minutes in a, in a four, a four bed. Yeah. 22 minutes in a four bed. And you know, you go in there naked. And I was like, when I got home, I was like, my, my body's on fire. <laughs> yes. I said, oh, my body's on fire. This is not comfortable. I mean, places were burning that shouldn't have even been burning. <laughs> like, Ooh, this is uncomfortable. So I called my girlfriend. I'm like, is your body like itching or something? I mean, do you did I you know was the bed something with the bed? She goes, No, Kate, you have sunburn. Go get yourself some aloe. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was in my mid-50s, the first time I ever got a sunburn. But I'm not doing that again. It was one time, never again. But I mean, what did I know? I'd never gone tanning before. So, and here in Minnesota, I did do, I did tan a couple for a little bit after that. Cause I did buy like a package, but I never went that long because, you know, when in the middle of the winter, it's kind of nice to be able to go some, you know, and kind of pretend like you're somewhere, you know, somewhere warm, <laughs> somewhere tropical, turn on the music and think, even though there's like, you know, snow up to my to my temples uh that i'm someplace warm so but yes sunscreen is important and i you know whenever i talk to people about skincare i, I that's that's the one thing i don't mess around with that's why i got the that's why I got the Shiseido 50. Cause I'll, I'll, for me, the Japanese in terms of the culture is to, to keep their, their, their skin lighter. And so I trust the sunscreen that they, that they create. I love snow. <laughs> yeah, I love snow, but you know, when it's 65 below, <laughs> And you go outside and your snot freezes in your nose. <laughs> the snow is not, <laughs> it's a little highly overrated at that point. But yeah, I like, I mean, I, I trust them in terms of, of uh, sunscreen. So I would definitely, if I could find more of these, I probably would buy them at the price that they're at. Yeah, I did. I didn't know what snow and cold was until I got here. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> I didn't know what 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 cold was until I. I mean, I thought I was cold when I was in New York, but when I got here, it was a whole new level of cold. I remember the first year I I got here. I got here in April. So I had the whole summer, which is beautiful. I mean, spring and summer, beautiful here. Um, I think Minnesota is one of the best kept secrets because people think it's snow all the time. It's not. Um, 
But when it did get cold, I remember I was getting my tires checked and the guy was like putting on his hat and putting on gloves and all that. And, you know, I had just come in from my warm car into the tire place. And so he was going to check my tires to see if there was an air in it, in them. And I was like, oh, okay. I just trot out with him with my coat open. <laughs> Man, he got to the first tire and I thought I was going to die because I was just like frozen. I mean, my eye, I mean, I was having trouble. I was having trouble blinking my eyes because <laughs> the fluid in my eye with you. And I went inside and that was like my first time with really cold weather. And I was like, oh, this is really cold. How long is it going to stay this cold? So, yep, snow is beautiful, but highly overrated to go somewhere. But one thing I have to say, they clean up that snow out here real quick. You know, they don't mess around. Usually when it's snowing, the, you know, they shovel like, bam, we're back down to, you know, dry ground. They're salting, sanding. I mean, they know the exact mixture of whatever they need to mix to make the, um, the, the uh, roads dry or safe to, to drive on. So they don't mess around. It's not like, you know, you're slipping and sliding in some of these places when they get a little bit of snow, they don't know what to do. So I have to say that's really nice about here. So if you don't have to go, I mean, if you have to go out in the, in the early morning, it's hard if it's snowed the night before. But if you go out, you know, in the middle of the day, you're, it's usually not a problem. Now the snow is up to here when you get out the door. You know, you have your little pathway to get out. But once you get out, once you get out to the to the roads, they're all clear. But I, I, as I said, Minnesota in the spring and the summer, like this time, is beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, granted, you have the mosquitoes, and as I say, that's my state bird is the mosquito because it's a land of ten thousand lakes, so everybody has a lake, and there's mosquitoes on all of them. I've lived in Minnesota for, now my son is 28, so 26 years. I've lived out here 26 years. And when I first moved here, I thought, oh, I'm only going to be out here for a couple months, <laughs> six months maybe. I thought maybe six months I'll be here because, you know, what am I going to do in Minnesota? No black people out here. <laughs> And there are black people out here. <laughs> I was like, mm, uh, my friends thought I was crazy when I told them I was coming out here. Um, I had gotten laid off. I was working for Citicorp in their mortgage area. And I had gotten laid off. And I was trying to find a new job. And I thought, where I was living, it was nice. It was a condo, but the neighborhood was getting a little weird and I didn't know New York is, is expensive to live. And so I said, you know, I want someplace kinder and gentler to raise my son. I was, I was a single parent. So I was looking around. My brother actually lived in Chicago. He moved from New York to Chicago and then his company relocated him from Chicago to Minnesota. And my little sister, had moved to Kansas. So I said, well, let me go to the Midwest. They've been living there for a year or so. And, you know, let me see if I like it. And um, I moved to Minnesota because my brother was here and the rest is history. Very active there. What do they do? Are they in, in, in politics or music? Or my son is into music. Hmm. Don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to stay. I mean, I really didn't think I was going to stay. I said, okay, I'll, you know, a couple of years. But it is a really, it's very family friendly. 
and voting. Okay. Yeah, it's very family friendly. I, I was shocked when I, I, at the time I was working in downtown Minneapolis and, you know, to see the mayor of Minneapolis, just like walking on the street, like, you know, any other person, whereas back in New York, that wasn't going to happen. You weren't going to see the mayor without a whole entourage and security and I can't even imagine the mayor of New York walking across the street. He's going to drive, even if he's going from one one block to the, the next. You know, people were just very down to earth. And I lived in a very small town, too. Most of when I moved to I've lived in this house for 18 years. The downtown, my town is still. Well, now it's two stoplights. So you have a stop sign, town hall another stop sign. They're starting to build up a little bit. We got a, finally got a, we got a grocery store and a library. We were so excited. Yes, I did. I mean, I, I have to say as it's family friendly. Now that my son has moved out, it's a little different because um, being a single woman here is very interesting. Being a single black woman here is very interesting. Yes, it is very small. I just happen to have a lot of friends here, so that's that's what keeps me here. But as a single black woman, it's it's very interesting. Yes, getting a and for us getting a library, like I said, and the and the grocery store was big news, big big news. And I mean, I know people who, when Prince was alive, they, I mean, Prince, I mean, this is the kind of place where Prince would just walk into a CVS and get his prescription filled. And it was like, no bodyguards, nobody. He would just walk in and get what he needed. I mean, it's just, it's just like that kind of a, you know, nobody really, Nobody really, you know, you know, I mean, they know that it was him, but you know, they didn't get crazy about it. So, I mean, the fact that I have three altars that are really close, one altar is about five minutes away. The next altar is probably... 20 minutes away. I think the other two are like 20 from where I live. One is five minutes and the other is 220. And then I have Mall of America, which is maybe 20 minutes, half an hour away. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there are some towns, I mean, some of the towns a little bit further from me, but my town's really quiet. Nothing happens here. I mean, you know, I mean, this I mean, I guess it's petty crime. I mean, you got those teenagers that do some stupid stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty quiet. Oh, the State Fair. Yes, I, I've been there a couple of times. It's a sea of people. That, I mean, the great Minnesota get together. I mean, that's a sea. I mean, just undulating people. It's, it's interesting. There's too many people for me, though. Yeah, there's too many. I've been there, I think, four times in the 26 years I've lived here. I've gone four or five times. And there's just, just so many people. So, just so many people. Did you like it? Lulu, did you like it in, in, in North Carolina? And they have everything on a stick. They have um, snicker bars on a stick. Yeah, they have snicker bars, pork chops on a stick, um, ice cream on a stick.
I mean, I, I don't like the, like the barns and the, you know, the life, you know, they have areas where the, you know, like cows give birth, pigs give birth, horses give birth, you know, and then they have the, the uh, 4-H and then they have the, um, they have all sorts of, you know, different people selling different things, um, big farmers market type thing. Yes. Oh, oh, that is that. <laughs> they melt in your mouth. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Every time I went, I did get the bucket of chocolate chip cookies. Those are fantastic. And they're, and they're warm. And so they're all melted together. Buckets, buckets. Oh, <laughs> and then they have the, well, they have the milk. I mean, and I'm not really, a, I'm really lactose intolerant, but that's about the only time that I would drink that milk. It's not as bad as the, the other milk. I mean, oh, it's, mm, it's good. Buckets. Oh, it is very good. <laughs> you reminded me of that. I got to, I got to make sure that I, when, it, when, when, when the fair goes around, I give somebody some money to get me a bucket of cookies. And I mean, the lines are, I mean, long and they have like, 15 lines going into into the into the building that has it and people just yeah well it's because she's really good my 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 brother um has a practice and he gets most years he gets like um tickets for free bucket so but i i don't go so I, he gives them to me because he doesn't go either but um I should give give one of those to next time he gives me one. I should give to, and get get a free bucket. Yeah, I mean, and the cookies are the cookies probably are about maybe this big, maybe that big, and so then they just fill the buckets. They don't count how many they put in. They just fill the bucket. <laughs> yep, they just fill the bucket. And, it, and it's like, she is, she's making big bucks. She's making big bucks. I mean, and they just have like this, it just, they just cooking and cooking all day long, just cooking, 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 cookies. And they're good. Whatever the recipe is, it's a very good recipe. <laughs> well, the fair is in, uh, the last week of August, the fair is. Nope, they never stop lining up from the time it opens till the time it closes. I usually get, when I did, did get my bucket, I always got it when I was leaving because I wasn't going to carry it around the whole fair. But yep, from the time that it opens to the time it closes, the fair closes every night, there's lines. Yes, she's a very smart lady. I have a friend who has, um, I think that they, I know they sell soda. They have like a little trailer somewhere in the middle of the fair. They've had that trailer for years. Um, they have a trailer in the middle of the, the fair and they sell, I believe, I don't know if it's hot dogs or something or, or nachos and um, soda. They make up, they make a, a pretty penny, a good, a good amount of change um, for that one week. <laughs> oh yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not carrying it around because I mean, if you're going to go on any rides or you're going to, you know, you're going to look at anything, you know, you got this bucket. I mean, it's a sturdy bucket relatively, but you know, that's too much. And so and one of the nice things is that they have buses so you can, you can drive your car to a park and ride and then you get on a bus and the, that way you don't have to look for parking. The first couple of years or the very first two years, I um, drove pretty close to the fair and then tried to park and then took a small bus back there. And that was finding parking was very difficult. So now I just stay in my like one town over from where I live. I park there and they have buses going down to the fair. So it's, it's really easy. 
Yes, I'd be eating them too. Yes, I get it on the way out. I get it on the way out. But I mean, having, you know, that way, you know, having the buses, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. And then you bring your bucket on the, on the, on the bus with you and people will share. If you say you have, you haven't had it, Minnesota nice. There's a bit to, there's something to that. Minnesota nice. They will let you have some of their cookies on the bus. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I would never drive. I mean, one year I went to see Aretha Franklin because they do have like, you know, shows down there. And one year I went to see Aretha Franklin and we, we parked down. We, that was trying to, trying to find parking. It was, we just went down for the show and trying to find parking was hell. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it again, but they do have some really good, good, good acts down there too. She was fantastic. That woman's in her 70s and she sounded exactly like she sounded when she was in her 20s and 30s. So what time, uh, you're at eight o'clock, right, Lou? You do your live at eight o'clock? Yep, I'm going to I'm going to be heading out too. <laughs> Thank you Kim. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to be heading out too everybody. Thank you for watching and for those of you who are watching the replay, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.